Welcome to Jimmy Bowen and Friends. Each week's episode features Jimmy Bowen and a special guest like Jimmy Fortune, Rhonda Vincent, and Terry McBride. Today's guest is Wade Hayes. Now, here's Jimmy Bowen. Don't drink the water, it won't do you no good. You just keep your whiskey from doing what it should. Don't drink the water, it's bad for your mental health. Drop that bucket and leave it in the well. Well, I was feeling kind of low down when I saw that roadhouse sign. All lit up in neon, Thelma's liquor, beer, and wine. I sat down and ordered whiskey with the water on the side. Thelma said, Don't drink the water, it won't do you no good. It just keeps your whiskey from doing what it should. Don't drink the water, it's bad for your mental health. Drop that bucket and leave it in the well. Don't drink the water, it won't do you no good. It just keeps your whiskey from doing what it should. Water is bad for your mental health. Drop that bucket and leave it in the well. Well, I took that advice from her and drank it down straight up. Things got a whole lot brighter with one little shot of that stuff. And I said, them I'm beholden to ya. She said, a couple of those will do ya. But don't drink the water. It won't do you no good It just keeps your whiskey from doing what it should Don't drink the water It's bad for your mental health Drop that bucket and leave it in the well Don't drink the water It won't do you no good It just keeps your whiskey from doing what it should Drink the water, it's bad for your mental health. Drop that bucket and leave it in the well. Don't drink the water, it won't do you no good. It just keeps your whiskey from doing what it should. Don't drink the water, it's bad for your mental health. Drop that bucket and leave it in the well. Yeah, drop that bucket and leave it in the well. Well, thank you, folks. Hey, welcome to the show. We are going to have a time tonight. I have one of the guest tonight that has been a favorite singer of mine for years. And he's a fabulous songwriter, and you are gonna really enjoy this gentleman. His name is Wade Hayes. He's gonna do a tremendous job. Looking forward to Wade coming up with us tonight. But we'll be back right off these messages from our sponsor. There's more Jimmy Bowen and Friends coming up right after this short break. Welcome back to Jimmy Bowen and Friends. Well, thank you, folks, and welcome back to the show. Our guest tonight is a tremendous artist. He has had a career that's unbelievable, some ups and downs, but what a fabulous artist and singer he is. Please make welcome Mr. Wade Hayes. Thank you, John. Thank Wade, you, sir. Hey, man, it's great to have you here. It's great to be here. I'm so glad you could take the time out of your schedule and come Me visit too. with us. And, well, tell us what drove you to Nashville. What got you here? Now, I had been through four years of college and had been paying for it for myself, getting loans, working jobs, you know, just anything I could do. And I finally realized this, this was not for me. 
I wanted to play songs. I wanted to be Don Rich to somebody. I wanted to be you know, that somebody's right hand man, and I wanted to write songs. And, and uh, I finally, I was, you know, in fourth year of college, scraping by, eating bologna if I was lucky. And I saw Ricky Skaggs on the CMA Awards one year, and he said, to all you young artists who are struggling, you need to stick with it because that's what you're called to do. And it was like a bolt of lightning to me. I started making plans immediately to move to Nashville, and I've gotten a chance to thank Ricky firsthand for that because it changed my life, and it got 110% better the second I got into Nashville. That's great. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, did you... Were your aspirations to always be an artist, or did you want to do that writer, artist, or did you want to be... I just wanted to be in there somewhere. And to be perfectly honest with you, I didn't want to be an artist. That, that was... I, I wanted to be, like I said, I wanted to be Don Rich. I wanted to be somebody's right-hand man. I grew up playing lead guitar and singing harmony for my dad. And that's what I was comfortable doing. So that's... And I, it kind of led me to... Like, I grew up building houses with my dad... And um, so naturally, when I moved to Nashville, I got a job swinging a hammer. And right it, it, immediately after that, I got a job playing lead guitar for Johnny Lee. Ah, cool. He was he was he and Mickey were playing a club called Gillies here in Nashville. Yeah. And uh, I got a job playing for Johnny. And we became great friends. We're still great friends. He still will text me a dirty joke about once a month. <laughs> and he, yeah, I'm not kidding. No, I love that man. He's got a heart of gold, and he really, really looked out for a very naive country boy. And he saved me from a lot of headache and heartache yeah. from the sharks circling there. And uh, <laughs> they started coming out to watch me, and I had no idea I was about to get offered a record deal. But uh, Johnny kind of knew what was going on, and he watched out for me. Well, that's cool. That's I great. love him. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Well, the song that you're going to do tonight... Yes. Um, Old enough to know better. Did yeah. you write that? Did you? Help I wrote that, that song. Yeah, and, and interest. Interestingly enough, Johnny and that whole period had a lot to do with writing that song. It's kind of a true story because, you know, like I'd mentioned, I'd gotten a job swinging a hammer. I had to be at, at work at seven o'clock in the morning, and uh, and I was still playing for Johnny. Yeah. And he'd get wound up and want to play till two or three every night. This was seven nights a week. He didn't care that I had to be at work at 7 o'clock that morning. So that's kind of where oh, I'm the old enough is kind of a based on a true story. True story. Yeah. Well, that's cool. You're going to do it for us, right? I'd love to. This was a multi-week number one song, my very first single out, and I thank God every day that it's just been a blessing. Yeah, that's great. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Wade Hayes. <laughs> Like a long to flame Mama raised me right That just leaves me to blame When I get a little sideways On honky tonk tear I'm old enough to know better But I'm still too young to care The cowgirls with them have to be and tight blue jeans Take my mind off doing right And doing other things When the weekend's gone I won't have a dime to spare I'm old enough to know better But I'm still too young to care I sure know I'm there I'm old enough to know better But I'm still too young to care When the eagle flies on Friday Where he barely leaves the ground I've got just enough left to get dressed up And head back to town Boss says, son, have a long way fun Get you anywhere. I'm old enough to know better, but I'm still too young to care. Monday morning, I wake up with a heather in my hand. The boss man giving 
at something at me that I don't understand. I don't know how I got to work, but I sure know I'm there. I'm old enough to know better, but I'm still too young to care. I'm old enough to know better, but I'm still too young to care. Thank you. Thank you. Don't go away. Jimmy Bowen and friends will be right back. Welcome back to Jimmy Bowen and friends. Wade, that was tremendous, my man. Well, thank you. I thank love you. that song. Thank you very much. And, and you're the only one that can do that song. Oh, you know it's, that? It's been that, a blessing. That's your song, my man. It was a, tr a true story, you know, from the story of my life back then. It was um, the most exciting time. It was a very difficult time, but it was yeah. the most exciting was time great. of my entire life. Uh, tell us about how your cancer diagnosis and how that changed your life. What kind of, what did it do for you or didn't do? Well... I'll tell you, typically I'm a very, and anybody that knows me will say I'm a very, very private person, but this was a, a big deal, and, and actually, this is not stretching the truth at all. I'm not supposed to be here. It's truly a miracle. Um, and um, in 2011, I was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer, and uh, I had it everywhere. And uh, the initial diagnosis was, and this is the honest truth, let's keep him comfortable because there's no way to get to all of this. And uh, fortunately, a friend of mine named Kix Brooks took me to Vanderbilt and introduced me to a man named Dr. Jordan Berlin. And they took a very long, hard look at it, and he thought he saw a way. He was the only one that thought he saw a way. And he wanted to try it, and I'm sure glad he did. Because yeah. that was 10 years ago. Man. And uh, yeah. Yeah. It, took me, it took me about five years to get back, it took me three years of battling it to, because it, it, I went through a marathon surgery and all the chemotherapy and just, I've lost count of surgeries that I've had. And um, it came back. I got to repeat the process again. So all of the chemotherapy and surgeries, and that took about three years. And then another couple of years after that, but, uh, I'll, and I will tell anybody, I thank God in the name of Jesus, because he made it clear. He made it clear that I'm, he's the reason I'm still here. And it's, I don't understand him. Most of the time, I, I go to church every Sunday. I'm home, and I still struggle with it. But I do know that that's the reason I'm still here. He's got more work for you today. I certainly hope so. Yeah. Well, tell us about the song, Who Saved Who? Well, um, this is every word of this song is true. Um, I uh, met an old dog. I was coming home. From uh, I had been out the lake with some friends in the middle of the night. I was coming home, and I pulled into a filling station about 70 miles from my home. And uh, this old wormy, or he was young, wormy dog. He was about that big around, covered in ticks. He had holes in him, literally, you could see. And, and he jumped up into my truck and sat down like he'd been there his whole life. He had a pizza crust hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> it's true. This dog looked over at me. I looked at him. I took that dog home, and he was the best dog I ever had in my life. I had him 10 years, and he helped. He, he, it was just he and I when I was going through all that cancer stuff, and I am convinced that dog helped me get through that because I had to walk him every day. Twice a day, we'd do a mile twice a day, and uh, it was a big part of my recovery, and, uh, and I lost that dog in, in uh, 2020. And uh, I still miss him every day. But when, when I found out he was sick, I wrote this song for him. And uh, this goes out to anybody who's ever loved a dog half as much as I love that one. It's called Who Saved Who? Mr. Wade Hayes, ladies and gentlemen. I first met him, he was digging through the trash In an all-night filling station He was looking for some scraps And he was frail Like he'd been a while long 
He came to the truck. He jumped right in the front seat. He had a half-eaten pizza crust clamped in his crooked teeth. And he smiled. He smiled. Like he was finally home. And he'd been with me through hell and back again. And I know it's often said, but he has been my best friend. They call him a rescue, but I'm not sure that's true. Cause there's times I wonder who say to. At first it was trying cause he was still a pup. There's no telling how much furniture and boots that he chewed up, but it was worth it. When we got through that first year, cause for dang near a decade, he's been the constant in my life. And he helped to pull me through what were my darkest times. And I know, I'm sure thankful he was here. Cause he's been with me through hell and back again. And I know it's often said, but he has been my best friend. They call him a rescue, but I'm not sure that's true. Cause there's times I wonder who saved who. All the roads we've ridden, all the miles that we've walked, and everything he's seen and heard, I'm sure glad he can't talk. I just hope and pray that he can stay at least another 10. Cause I know I'm nowhere strong for life without him cause he'd been with me through hell and back again and I know it's often said but that dog he was my best friend they call him a rescue but I'm not sure that's true cause there's times I wonder who say to Oh Jack I think I know just who say to Thank y'all <laughs> We'll be back with more Jimmy Bowen and friends in just a moment. Welcome back to Jimmy Bowen and Friends. Well, welcome back. What'd you think of Wade Hayes? Woo. I'm telling you, that man has, he's an inspiration, isn't he? Uh, to go through what he has gone through and be here is definitely a uh, sign that the good Lord above has a lot for him to do. And uh, looking forward to the new music with Wade Hayes and, and wishing him a lot of good luck here in the future. And maybe we can do some stuff together, hopefully in the future, I hope. So we're gonna close the show out uh, on a song that, uh, I actually did a bluegrass version of this. It was written by a good friend of mine, John Pennell, who's written a lot of Allison Krauss songs. And uh, we love this song and he did a country version of it and we kind of messed it around a little bit. We're gonna say goodnight to you guys and look forward to seeing you on the next show. <laughs>
Tomorrow 